my goal in this whole game is to be with Scott. Ooh, okay, okay, well then. We met Scott already, so we're gonna try to focus on farming today and on making some candies and um, what do you need for crafting them? Sap? Ooh, okay, that's actually good. So I need sap and um, any tree seed to make them. Yeah, because I need to harvest my first crop and I still don't have it. So, the best way, as I said before, if you want to do this... Um, stand in the middle. And just, like, water everything. You can do this, you can go around it. Like, you can do 360s around you just to water them so you don't have to walk. And always, if you want to start farming and cropping, do this. Because at one point in the game, you're gonna get uh, sprinklers. And these sprinklers, like the strongest one, I think, they do these ones around you. Like, so you, that's why I've been preparing for it. I've been basically, I'm gonna basically redo my farm. All right, and now we're gonna continue. Just doing our thing. Just be a good old farmer. Maple seeds. And then we are going to craft some candy. And I'm gonna eat them. Okay, 60, all right, that's actually good. The cool thing also that is like in Coral Island is that even if you have your stuff in your inventory, you can still craft. So you don't, you don't really need to worry about it. I've been using the wrong thing over and over again. Wow, I'm so strong. I'm just gonna clean up here. Here's the thing, my mission for this playthrough. Yes, it is playing Coral Island. Where did Scott go? Is Scott at the museum? Uh, da -da -da -da. Counties. No, he's... We know where to go after. I, I need to give him my present. I don't care about the geode thingy. I'm gonna do this later. I'm just gonna give him present. Alright, so we need to plant more seeds because I still have some. I'm gonna do a turnip run here on this one. Because it's Scott's favorite. So we, we gotta, you know, we gotta listen to our man. And his, you know, and what he likes. He's new in town, we gotta make it comfortable for him and Cozy. Yeah, I kinda need to... Go to the blacksmith and open the coffers. I've been slacking on that one for a bit. Also, I need to go and grab some food. I know I'm getting tired. I'm gonna go and get some food now. Oh my gosh. So this is what happens if you get tired. I think I'm gonna go to the beach shack. Go here. Hello, good morning. Hi. Pop. Grilled fish. Let's go. Oh, since when do you have the sign down here? That's so cool. Okay. Grilled fish. Eat it. I'm fishy. Look. I cannot eat more for energy. Oh, I can. Good. I'm still fishy. Wait, what does it do? Does it mean that I smell like fish and no one can get near me? I'm on a mission now. A mission right now is to eat a bit, farm, and then... And then we're gonna go to Scott and we're gonna give him all the presents. We're gonna see how much we can speedrun this of him giving, getting all the stars on him. I think once per week we can get more things. So in, I think around week 8 we're gonna be Gucci with him. But by week 8, if we are actually going serious with him. I want my whole place to be clean. Okay, so I'm gonna go now a bit further down. I want to have this spot here for my farming. Oh my lord. Wait, is Scott still there? 
thought is inside. Why do I always like the men that have their biggest special interest in the world? Um, I'm just gonna do it for this month here, like this. Because then, um... I eat a bit. Because then I will separate these things, but for now I just need to have some crops. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go to Sam's and do more. Because at one point eventually I'm gonna spend all my money. I know it looks like I have a lot right now, but uh, this money is gonna be gone. Oral coins are gone in a at one point. What I'm gonna do now is... Where is Boo Boo? Okay, I'm gonna meet him halfway. And I'm gonna give him another present. Sorry, there he is. <gasps> God. People are telling me jokes about some company changing a museum into old storage. It's just a joke, right? He's so adorable. No. Hey. Hey, boo. I'm so sorry. I've been lifting a lot today, lately. Can you tell? Yes, you're pretty. Oh, look at this massive note. Thank you, Izzy. Welcome, Scott. You see me grinning ear to ear just because of Scott, yeah. How much I love him. My husband. My future husband. And then we're slowly making our way. Let me see how it looks. How much I have to clean all my... Okay, we have a lot of work to do because I want to clean everything. And here, I'm gonna do here my retreat next to the water. And my farm houses, I think I'm gonna get here. So this part here, I think, is gonna be for farming. I'm gonna leave a small forest here. And then here, it's gonna be like the getaway re retreat that I, I'm gonna plan to do. I want to have most of the things really close by. I... how much did it take me? I mean, I... when I finished, or like before the beta came out, I had 90 hours in the game. And I think it took me 60 hours to get my farm to my liking. Um... But that was like without the, the money and the funds and stuff like that. I was basically very broke in this game. Um... And now that I played, like, I kind of like got the money from my previous save, or like from the beta. Um... It's... Kinda ish faster. Like, I don't know. I don't see any difference. Like, I'm still farming like I should. Not that I'm not gonna farm or not participate in the gameplay. Like, we can see at the beginning how much I made before starting. Or like, you know, how much I made until now when I started. That was at like a th million and I'm still at the million. Like, I didn't even gain much money as of now. But at least we got most... I, I think I'm gonna keep the, the trees a little bit here. I might think I'm gonna do the trees here too. It's kind of cool waking up and then you have the trees in front of you. I think that's a cool thing to do. I'm gonna go to bed soon too and end the day. I gave everything to, to Scott. Scott is like... I don't need to give Scott presents until Mondays. And it's Thursday now, so we're fine. I think by tomorrow, we're gonna have our first turnip, uh, done. Yes, go to sleep. My relationship with Scott? <laughs> yes. <laughs> After four days. <laughs> Mark. Yes, good morning. I'm Mark. You're the new farmer, I know. I'm here to give you some info. The cavern northwest of here is now open, right through the forest. You see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. It was closed? Yes, it was closed and now it's open. Catch any of that? Yeah. The band of stars killed up the top levels of the cavern. It's safe to roam, no monsters anymore. Don't go too deep, your garden rake won't help you there. Monsters. It is dangerous. 
That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. <laughs> Waste of time. He's kind of adorable, I'm not gonna lie. I think he's like a big guy with a big heart. Uh, I, I, I kind of like him. Oh, we can harvest already. Let's go. I'm gonna buy them more seeds uh, today. I'm gonna keep these also for Scott. Because Scott loves turnips. And I'm gonna try to water this here already. Ah, busy blushing. Busy blush. I love mining though. It's like really cool. I hope I can get the sword soon. And so we met Mark now. If we check on the relationship. We met Mark. Big guy Mark. So we're missing Kira and we're missing the... I don't know what the lady is called with the lab. And then we are missing... But it's okay. We're gonna... We're gonna check it out later. I'm not really, um, worried. You bitch! Uh, I cannot craft them yet, right? Oh, I can? It's upset me right now. I totally forgot about them. I think I might push this and put this here. Wait, didn't- wasn't my mission to gift, like, five townies at the beginning? Or, like, when I first played the beta, five townies, I had to give them something? Is this just like now you have to craft a bouquet of flowers and just give it to the first that you see? Is that, so is that new that they changed that? Like it's so cool, it doesn't really take much of the gameplay away, the fact that you have most of the th stuff already. I mean the only thing is that you can farm like quicker and you can buy like more of the food yet without going broke. But I'm just, I'm just enjoying my time here and my farming. Oh, an event? You're not welcome here. The puffer fish, huh? Hello, Karen. <laughs> Hello, all. Passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Copperfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town up. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish! We can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen and please do elaborate, Miss Betty. The always feel that reach our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an old drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an old drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty... If I may, Richard, we can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand railing sites to the lake and across the beach, see where I'm going here? You can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town, you see? Creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. In no time, you will all see this town alive again. Picture this. Pufferfish workers everywhere. Chilling by the pier inside fish and sips. Enjoying life. Oh my god. Red shirt. Look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares around anymore about this uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out, expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world-famous oil town. We're putting you on the map, and all you need to do is say yes. By bailout, you mean drilling around the island? Gah. Pufferfish investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math, it'll tickle down to you people. Folks, let's cool our hats. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. 
Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Our doors always open, Mr. Mayor. If I gotta be honest, I've never been inside the puffer fish. So yeah, I've never really been inside there. See? Screw Karen. Busy, right? Oh, I know you. Please, to me, make your acquaintance. No need to be confused, you don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. Busy, this island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. Should just make the best of it. No. You had the wrong address, honey boo. Errands. Cauliflower. Yeah, whenever I get the the cauliflower, we're we're gonna yeah, we're gonna figure it out somehow. Pop. Uh, we had turnips, right? So we're gonna go get more turnips, and then more daisy seeds. And then... Honestly, we're gonna do more cauliflower. As well. And more carrots. And more patats. I wanted 16. Why am I doing 18? Because of the 8. The number 8. The number 8. The number 8. Ah, uh, now you're walking around town, Marky boy? Oh my god, Taco, you're so cute. Taco's busy and can talk right now. <laughs> Why am I so in love with doggos? We're gonna continue. Fertilizer. Brew. Uh, this is for Scott. This is for Scott. I can sell this. Um, Fertilizer. There. I can add this here, actually, and I think I'm gonna put the good crops here too. Okay. I cannot. Oh, I can still add this here. Okay. Can I place on non-seed crops? Okay. All right. So I can do this here, and I can do that here and there, and then. I don't even know what I put there, but whatever. And then we're gonna put some cauliflower in here too. There you go. And then for Scott, we need we need to take care of our boy. He needs to eat turnips to be strong and handsome and lift everything. See, we're already taking care of him. We only have one heart. Let's go to the fish and sips and see what we can eat or drink. Oh my god, he's doing the carpet again. Theo, you're flexing in spring. Holy smokes. Oh my god. Uh, Antonio is his name. What am I saying? At the new horizon. Oh yeah, hi Antonio. Okay, so Charles has a sweet tooth. He loves that. Alright. Mm, there is Pablo. Oh my god. Wait, Pablo, do you like do you like sake? Or do you like a good beer? I don't know. I think he likes beer. That Miss Pufferfish doesn't seem to take no for an answer. And I'll be ready for their shenanigans. Yes. Thank you. You're very generous. Long day today, Vizzy? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I like Scott. But... And say no to a good, handsome, open-minded Pablo, too. See, this is like how I'm losing my money already. I just buy stuff. I just buy stuff and I don't think about what I'm buying. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I'm deciding to do. Go to bed. Oh, nice. We can now make um, a fertilizer. Nice, we made a little bit. We're getting slowly richer. Oh, well, I'm getting poorer, to be honest. Oh, wait, what was this? 
Oh, the way I make money. Ooh, that's a cool effect. One day, when I have the funds and I'm a full time content creator, I want to live at a farm. In the morning, I do my farm work. And then after this, in the afternoon, I'm making my content. And then in the evening, I'm streaming. That would be kind of like the dream, having a farm as a content creator, but like not with like, you know, hard labor because I'm chronically ill. But like, you know, having like animals and just being at peace in the middle of nowhere. You know, you don't have to be in the city. That would be actually the dream. One day. I always wanted to have a farm. I wanted to have all my farm with my doggos, with my chicken. I want to have like two ducks. And, um, and goats. That would be so cool though. I would love to have that. That's why I love farming simulators. They're like so much therapy. Like, you know, you just don't have to do anything. You just have to work hard. I mean, of course, like working at the farm, like, can be like very... Uh, how do you say that? Uh, tough. Because it requires a lot of physical work, but I want to have a farm where you don't need to do so much physical work. Just like, you know, I'm okay with my small crops. You know, I mean, is it a farm? It's basically just like a cottage. With like animals and, um, and just like some beautiful crops. I think uh, that will be the actual dream. One day. Did I do it last time too? I think last time I worked my way. Yeah, because I was preparing for my farm animals. That's why I was doing this. Uh, this way, this direction. Because once I have my farm animals, I will take more care of my getaway, um, of my farm getaway. That it's that is like the dream. I like how in this game you have so much variation. What am I even doing? I want to have my farm animals here, so I need to chop this part here. And then the fields are there. Yeah, so I'm gonna chop this part here. And then I'm gonna keep the forest there. And here, so I'm gonna chop... You know what? I'm not gonna chop everything. Like, honestly... The, the first playthrough that I had, I, my farm was naked. I had to plant my trees myself. I want to keep this a bit natural now. Why can't I do my fashion thingy? Antonio, give me fashion. Oh, look cute. It's only 4 p.m. so we still have some time. I don't have to... I mean, I could go to the mines. I hope it's gonna rain tomorrow so I don't have to worry about it. I need to really look at the... at the TV. Uh, okay, I, I I need to remember remind myself to go to to the blacksmith um, tomorrow, so I can I can start a little bit with artifacts and uh, pleasing my boy God. I know I could like wait until I get all the tools and stuff or like better tools to clean this up. My OCD brain says no, you gotta do this now. It looks very not clean. I I need to do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna cry. I I'm a person, especially with my farms. I want my animals to be free, so I don't put any um fences up. I'm a non-fence uh person. Animals can roam around free. They can poop or everywhere. They can eat everything. I I don't I don't mind. Okay, so how much did we do now? A little bit. Uh, it was full here. So we're going to do here, right? I wanted the forest here. So the farm building. So I'm going to take this out here too. This one here. And mm, do I keep this? I mean, I want to have some trees around still. Mm, I think I might start with the trash. I'm going to get the trash out. And then I, I leave the, the crops and every... Not the crops, but the trees and rocks. 
a kiln. Nice, foraging up. Oh, mining, I can get explosives now, nice. All right. Let's see. Any bronze ores? I really need, they are really sending me to the mines, eh? Wait, what is, it's his birthday? Oh, you can see the birthday now! Santana's birthday, good for him. Oh, I have a skill point now. Oh, a speed demon. Yes. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. All right. Why am I having my pizza in my hand? I mean, I'm Italian, yes, but... Oh, we can harvest! Nice! Look at the patats! So we're gonna water everything, and then it's Sunday. Remind... I have to remind myself to go to the blacksmith so I can open my coffers so I can... I can continue with, um, with, uh, my collecting mission and with the museum. Like, most of the days, nothing really special happens. It's just basically me farming. That's basically it. I need to get more. I need to water this too and then put some fertilizer on it. Uh, I think I still... Yeah, I still have some crops. Uh, some seeds that I can use. Okay, I gotta go to, to Pablo's after this. Um, stones. Okay, let's go first to the carpenter and then we can see where we want to go. I'm gonna put a well there. And then I hope I don't need that much rocks for stuff. It's open. Okay, I see the sign now. Good. Hi, Dinda. Wonderful seeing you too. So I need bronze bars for this. Help essence. I can't do anything basically. Not even a silo. I need resin. So I basically cannot build anything right now. What about... How's upgrade? I need bronze bars. So I really need to go. And I already need to go to the next. Okay. Well, um, shop. No. House style. Oh, okay. So I can still change my style. All right. I cannot do anything. I need to really start mining. Okay. Uh, boop, boop. Okay. We gotta go and get some crops. Oh, storyline is happening. Hi, hey there, Vizzy. It's good to see you. Hi, Connor. Just heading to Raja's Coffee. Are you here to socialize? Yes, by the way, what's the pufferfish scene? No, can you tell me about Karen? Yes, I know. Who's pufferfish? Oh, yeah. By the way, what's the pufferfish the scene? Yeah. It's easier if I show you. Okay. Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. All right, okay, no worries. Go. Fairy Blossom Festival. There's a festival? No way. See that large F on the town rank board? Yes, that's us. It didn't happen suddenly, though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Starlet's town's A rank. And A busy. Sometimes it got B, but it was never F until... I need to sit down to tell you what happened. Some time ago. That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. Visitors come here to see your museum, heritage sites, and ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these attractions at the time of review. Today, we're awarding Starlet Town with a rank of... F. Why does she look like me when I'm older? Like, she's got the same mole here, but on the other side. Yeah, we're going with a... Wait, let me let me do this. Even the ear. Nah, shut up. Say what? Oh, and then Karen, uh, Karen took the opportunity. Hello. Let's prepare all necessary documents and equipment. 
I found the perfect location. So that was basically me in a couple years as a uh, judge, whatever. Everything went downhill from there. Aaron was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time. Those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the new pufferfish building. The plan to rescue us out is to rebrand Starlet Town as on its own as its own. Um, just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, ocean heritage sites, it's hard to accept. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under um, is harder. Our town used to be good, busy, great even. Business was booming, the town it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to 8 and regain the trust of visitors, we'll have no choice but to work with Pufferfish. Filling the museum seems straightforward and achievable. We'll just take time. But he healing the sick heritage sites or getting rid of those stubborn roots in the ocean? Where do we even start? How do we even start? Huh. Our town is in a difficult position. Lots to take in, I know. How about you join me for a coffee? The walk and fresh air will do us both good. Okay. Let's go. Oh, it starts glowing. Wait, do I remember this scene or is it new? Is everything alright? I, I think I completely ignored it or I don't remember. Fishing pole. Okay. Oh, wait. Why am I even reading out that? Um, I think we're gonna go now to the blacksmith. And then we're gonna go from the blacksmith. We're gonna go to Sam's store and we're gonna get some more. Oh, we got a trout. Oh. Wait, they're not there. Don't tell me it's closed. Well, the town doesn't like me. Look at all the puppies outside! <laughs> Wait, when is the Cherry Blossom Festival? Spring 10 in three days? I gotta speedrun Scott's uh, approval and heart. He makes me happy. Oh no, not that smiley! Nope, they haven't magically returned. Oh, hello there. You're busy, right? I'm sorry you caught me at the bad time, but I we, we got a heart. You don't remember my name anymore? Just look at this. It's so empty. My life's work. Sorry, what are you talking about? This thing, nothing is so high concept. It's great. I'm so sorry. Thanks, Izzy. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least it's not empty like this. Not gonna lie, when Millie told me uh, the town was going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling that I'm used to. The one thing I was good at that made me feel useful is going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra fun to clean the oil spoil. There wasn't much I could do about it. So I'm back to my folks town down uh, to cool down and think about what I'm going to do next. Well, that's when I realized I had two options. Am I going to continue the pity party or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now that the town is in an, in an immediate crisis? That's right, I'm going to rebuild the collection. By the way, Vizzy, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? I can bring anything? Maybe will I get paid? Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. No pressure, Vizzy. Just stop by whenever and we'll see if anything in your bag can be displayed at the museum. And don't worry, I have a little something for you as thanks for donating any items. So what do you say, Vizzy? Wanna help me fill the museum with treasures of the island? You know... There are purposes of why I'm doing it, right? It's like... 
basically showing you my butterfly collection. There are... I would not do it for anyone else than you, Scott. That's what I like to hear, yes. He's so adorable. Oh. He's so adorable. Okay, well, you can already donate some items here. There you go. We got our first thing. Nice. Oh, when... How long? Deadline is today. I don't have cauliflower yet. So that's a town, right? Oh, okay. So we had this already. I ignored it completely. We gotta focus now on making Scott and the museum happy. That's my mission. Nice, we got some fish. Um... Hey, Antonio. Personally, never saw the appeal of living here in Sorrel Town. It's a bit too sleepy for my taste. Honestly, you're gonna appreciate it one day when you're older. I don't have cauliflower yet. Jim needs to wait. I just want to talk to Scott. Where's Scott? <gasps> Hello. Anything new going on? Do you know how to make green smoothies? Because Alice and Suki love them. Yeah, the twins. Wait, you knew they were twins. I couldn't believe it when I first found out. Alice and Suki. They look like, yeah, I, I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you, Scott, for T. Scott with this information. Yeah, same here. We're new to town. Um, then let's go to the mines and meet the others. Other, other, others. I'm just gonna drop some stuff off over because I, I got too much stuff here. Oof, I got really a lot of stuff. I'm gonna take these away. This. I don't have enough space. Not a feeling. Whatever. Um, my back looks it's terrible. My back really looks terrible. I'm gonna sword this too. Okay, let's go now to... And I have an alpaca. Oh, I didn't see the monkey temple. Monkey not there? Okay, monkey not there yet. I just want to go to the mines. Oh. That sound. Okay, let's go in. Get back, get back! You, the weak looking farmer, get back! I'm not weak looking. Get back from the month. Wait a minute, where are the monsters? I don't know. Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels, but that quick? Hmm. The shaking happened right after you entered, right? Yeah. There is an old myth about certain curses for reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira, I assume you're the new farmer. Yep, damn right. Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. Definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them plenty. Just don't forget they have monsters too. Take this. You need something to defend yourself with. Thank you. It's a long descent, so make sure you you're very well supplied. Be careful down there and good luck. Thank you. I guess.
Nice, so we need to do some uh, mining, I guess. Okay. Oh my god, they changed some stuff here. Interesting, that's cool. Wait, but before we do this, I need to have this really close to me. And like this. Put this here and this here. This. I have this right over. Oh, we are. This one here is Scott Heaven. So basically, every present that you want to for Scott, yeah, good luck. You're getting here. It's here. But now, since we're working kind of ish for Scott, we're gonna give him turnips since he's a turnip enjoyer. And, um, and we're gonna try start donating to the museum now that we unlock the museum. There you go. Oh my gosh, it always takes so long to go, to go in here. Hi, Blob. I like how the fighting style is. It's really adorable. Oh, nice. We can go already go in. Wait, there's no monsters. I didn't see them. That's actually cool. Nice. Why is it so long? Oh, no. That's amazing. Oh my god, I haven't seen that monster yet. It looks like a butt monster. Hello, how are you? Oh my god, I haven't seen you yet. You are a worm. A caterpillar. That's adorable. That's really adorbs. You know what? Since I unlocked it, we're gonna do explosives. And we're gonna take care of the rest, whatever. I just want to get this done. Not here. Nah, don't tell me it's here. No, it's not even there. Where's the ho hole? Is there? Just there. Just right there. Okay. And another geode for Scott. Oh, Scott is gonna feast on this. Oh, we reached level five. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna get this here too. And it's okay, it's almost like 10 p.m. That's actually good. We're good in time. So, in every level that you go here, you might find something on the ground where you can just like gener get uh, the ores immediately, but I don't see it here now. And from what I learned, if you see like the ores somewhere there, the hole must be close. We reached level 5 already, so we're good. Uh, we're gonna continue doing it more whenever it starts raining, but I need to go home now. Okay, we won't have time to go to the museum, so we're gonna do everything in the next... Go to bed! <laughs>